Hi you guys, welcome to your next three months love reading for uh, Aries. So um, we're going to take a look and see what you guys need to know, you know, for the next three months of love, you know. Um, so this is going to be for November, December, and January. Apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. So like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Anyone interested in wanting to uh, book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. Anyone wanting to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. So what do we have for Aries in the next three months in love? I mean, this could be you as a single person or you dealing with someone right now, okay? So we're going to take a look at the overall theme first and what you guys need to do, know, or expect in the next three months. In love for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November, December, and January. So we have the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Eight of Swords here. And also we have the Three of Pentacles. Okay. I'm getting the sense that in this situation here, Aries, you're dealing with a separation here because I feel like someone here can't stop thinking about someone. You know, right now, I feel like if this is, I feel like this is like, you know, November. There's a sense of like yearning, waiting for someone to come back. Uh, December, you're thinking about someone. In um, January, you could be working things out with somebody here. There could be some sort of reconciliation here or coming back together. Okay. So, you know what? We're going to take a look at each individual month to see what you need to know here. But, you know, I do get the sense that someone here is really heavily thinking about somebody trying to figure out a way to make their way to, back to someone. Someone here is yearning for someone here and looking for a new beginning with the Ace of Wands. Seems like someone here could have walked away because I feel like, you know, um, I feel like your core values or what you guys were looking for it just didn't match up or didn't align here, okay? So uh, uh, let's see what else we have. Talking about Aries in love for November. Tell me about Aries in love for November. Tell me about Aries in love for November. Okay, so Aries in love for November with the Ace of Swords, right? We also have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Little Sagittarius energy. You know, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is that if you walked away from someone because like things just didn't really work out, like for the month of November, you could be feeling internally very victorious here. Or that you're feeling that you have found clarity or things or that the decision that you made here is pretty clear for you guys here. Okay. So, you know, there could be a strong focus in November just on you here. Okay. We also have the temperance card, Sagittarius energy and the page of wands here, Aries Yield Sag. Could be dealing with someone here who's a bit more younger than you or that the maturity level with this person here is not on the same level as you. Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Page of Wands here. I mean, some of you could be coming back, wanting new beginning, or that they're trying to come back here, looking for your forgiveness here, looking for uh, your trust again. Uh, whoever this is, I feel like this person put you in a place where, you know, they saw you as a friends with benefits, you know? So, you know, I do feel like there's a situation here. It, se it seems like a situation ship. We have the Page of Swords here and also the Four of Swords. Yeah, someone here is trying to reach out to you, okay? Someone here is spying on you, watching you here. And I feel like, you know, with the Four of Swords here, I just feel like you're ignoring this person or that you're disengaging here, okay? Uh, so tell me about Aries in uh, December. What's going on with Aries in December? What's going on with Aries in December here, okay? Ace of Cups and also the Death card. Yeah, even though things has ended here between you and your person here, someone here just can't stop thinking about you or that you can't stop thinking about somebody here. We have the Death card here, Scorpio energy, okay? Um, you know, I, I just feel like someone here is just really missing someone a lot, just loving someone from afar here. Okay, the death card, like I said, Scorpio energy. I just feel like um, there is someone that you're dealing with here. Someone here is feeling like the situation's not really over. 
Okay, someone here wants to manifest this relationship back. We have the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. Gemini Virgo. Let's see. Also, we have the Moon card here and the Seven of Cups. Someone here is dreaming about you a lot, fantasizing you about a lot. Of, just Someone here is just thinking about you a lot here, Aries. And I just feel like there's someone here is dealing with their fears of losing you. Yeah, some here is dealing with their fears of losing you here, Aries. What else do we have here for Aries? Tell about Aries for January. Tell about Aries for January here. Aries for January. With the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Now in love, yeah, there could be some sort of new beginning here. Yeah, it seems like, you know, some here is coming back in methodically to work things out here with you. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with the Knight of Pentacles here. We also have the Two of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Seems like whoever this is, this person has never been able to move on from you. I just feel like this person has a lot to give now or that this person is trying to be really generous with their time and energy here with you. Okay, sometimes that Six of Pentacles could be a representation of breadcrumbing here too, where this person breadcrumbs you and it just, is, it just doesn't really go anywhere. What else do we have here for Aries? We also have the Four of Pentacles here and the Hierophant. Someone here is hoping for some sort of recommitment here, Aries. Yeah. Someone here is hoping for a recommitment here. Someone here is feeling lonely without you here, Aries, okay? What else do we have for, for Aries? What is the outcome here? What is the outcome of the situation for the next three months of love for Aries here? What is the outcome? What is the outcome here? What is the outcome? We have the Strength card, Leo Energy. The Eight of Pentacles, moving forward here. I just feel like you're working in yourself. You're standing in your power here. Yeah, uh, it's, it just seems like there's a situation with someone here that you don't trust. Yeah, I, I just feel like you're uh, preserving yourself. You're protecting yourself here. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It does seem like perhaps even though you love someone here, you are planning, your, planning to turn your back on someone. Okay, so, you know, I do feel like there's a situation here where, you know, someone here is trying to sneak back into your life here, but I feel like your silence is going to be very deafening to this person here. Yeah, they're going to feel very defeated. Okay, because I do feel like they're trying to win you back. So the Strength card, Leo Energy, the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the uh, 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 High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces here, and the Knight of Wands, Aries, Little Sagittarius Energy. This person's energy is a bit all over the place here. Yeah, I do feel like this person operates from the place of the ego because I feel like this person doesn't really listen. Yeah, this person doesn't really listen here. So, you know, I just feel like whoever this is, this person is thinking about you a lot. Like, yeah. Like, I feel like this person can't stop thinking about you. So, Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right? Thanks, guys. Bye.